All right, everybody, so today I uh, got this in the mail. This is the Polaroid Cube Act 2. Uh, it's like a cheap little small $20 action camera that I picked up on Amazon. Um, so I wanted to throw it through the paces. Um, so I went ahead and I, uh, I tried it as a dash cam. I, uh, I put it in time lapse. Uh, there's no time, I'm sorry, there's no time lapse feature, uh, but I just uh, had it facing the road. And then I also did a drop test in my backyard and I'll take y'all through what I did. All right, so my thoughts on the little Polaroid cube so far. Um, I was a little nervous, or I'm not nervous because uh, apparently it only takes up to a 32 gigabyte SD card. And I immediately put a 256 gig SD card that is worth more than this camera in it. Uh, and when I put it in, it got jammed, it got stuck. I could not get it out. I had to get a pair of tweezers and rip it out. I mean, hopefully that SD card is good. If not, I'm going to throw this so much away because that's BS. Um, then I, it'll take up to a 32 gigabyte SD card, which I also had. Um, and I put it in and it came in, slid in, slid out. Perfectly fine. Uh, one thing I did notice about this is that it does not have a like a GoPro mount on it. It actually has a strong, pretty strong magnet, fairly strong magnet. Uh, so I did order the little uh, cage that comes with it, um, or that doesn't come with it, but you can buy separately. Uh, I did buy that, it should be in Friday, I'll try that out. Um, but what I did find out is this. So if you have one of these Stiegley ball mounts like I do for my phone, it actually fits pretty nicely on that little Steely ball. And so it would actually be a pretty decent little dash camera So that if you wanted to do like driving shots or stuff like that, you know, uh, stuff while you're driving without having to do anything, it's actually a pretty cool little rig. Um, and the magnet is fairly strong. I mean, it really is. Um, so I did some shots um, going upside down and some other stuff. I'm gonna try some other things this afternoon uh, and give my legit, uh, you know, I had very low, low expectations for this camera, very low. It was a $20 camera, uh, found on Amazon. Uh, it says it's pretty, uh, you know, wow. What a really weird mark from that mask on my beard. Uh, but it's supposed to be pretty uh, shock, shock absorbent and weather resistant. So we'll do a couple things and, and we'll test it out and see how it really works. All right, so I want to try a shock test. So I'm going to throw this across the yard. Try it again. There we go. Try it again. This way. All right. Well, so everything held up. No more concrete, but I'm not gonna throw it on the concrete. So. All right. So my opinion of this little guy. Uh, the price twenty dollars. Uh, not a bad deal. I think there's another kit that's called the Cube Plus. That's thirty, and I think it comes with some more accessories. So. I don't know. Uh, I did purchase, like I said, the cage that will come with it so I can mount like a GoPro. Uh, but as far as what I'm going to use this one for, uh, I'm going to use it as like a dash cam uh, on my little steely mount for when I want to do stuff while I'm driving. Well, don't record while you're driving, but uh, you can do stuff while, you, while you're in the vehicle, uh, in park. Um, you could also, I've got a hat clip that will fit on my hat and my uh, awesome mode action uh, doesn't really it's, it's a little heavy on the bill um, so this will be perfect for that um, I wish the storage capacity was bigger um, only 32 gigs is kind of low um, but it does offer you on the back a little switch that gives you the option if you want to use uh, 1080p or 720 I don't know why you would want to use 7 well it looks like I captured 720 the whole time dang it that's funny um, so <laughs> But uh, as far as like it being thrown around the backyard, it did pretty well. Um, I can't really say, uh, I'm not gonna throw this in the concrete just because I know it'll probably shatter a million pieces. Uh, but for $20, that's not a bad deal for someone who's gonna have a specific use for this. Uh, I do like the strength of the magnet. The magnet is pretty strong on the back. Um, so I could put this in a spot 
and just hit record and I'll let it record and then hit it in time lapse in the uh, iMovie later on. So I do like that aspect of it. Uh, but for 20 bucks, I mean, it's not a bad little gig. I do like how tight the little uh, lid for the back is. Um, I like how tight it is. I haven't done a waterproof test on this. I probably will. Um, but like I said, for $20, I, I say it's worth a try. If you have, if it's not going to be your A camera, if it's going to be your uh, little side camera for specific tasks. Um, so uh, I hope y'all like this video. Uh, leave a comment. Leave uh, leave anything you want to do. <laughs> and uh, make sure y'all subscribe to Noah Farms. Thanks, guys.